morning. <laughs> it is Wednesday. It's 36 degrees here and I was like, oh, it's warm. <laughs> it's still cold because <laughs> it's so windy. So um, I, I've been really good about not pulling my hair back and, and leaving it down because I mean, that's all I've done for years is wore barrettes and stuff. And so once I have my hair straight, I decide I'm not wearing barrettes. I'm going to wear it down and I have been, but oh my Lord, I step out to take my dog out and I'm like, my hair is like everywhere. I'm like, all right, I've got to pin it back today. Plus, um, I'm going to make uh, our Greek sauce today. So I pull it back when I do cooking and stuff like that, but. I usually don't go out with a pulled down, pulled back anymore. So, um, I thought I'd bring you along with me today, tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, and uh, just bring you along to see how busy we are and what we're doing. So, as you know, our raffle is Saturday. Um, typically, we, we do an early bird drawing for one a prize, and typically we will have. Um, about 700 tickets turned in for the early bird drawing. This year we had over a thousand. <laughs> so we're not, you never know what to expect. Um, and I would like to show you what's going on all around my city today, but I don't know if I can. I don't know if you can see that diggy here as I turn, see him there? Um, everywhere, everybody's digging piles out there. Years ago, when we would get a lot of snow like we have on the ground, um, they would take it and dump it in the lake. But they have found with the salt in, uh, as much as they salt our streets and stuff, that was not good for our lake. So now you can't dump the snow in the lake anymore. So what they do is there's empty lots around town and they dig them out and dump truck them to empty lots. So everybody's trying to dig out corners, make sure fire hydrants are dug out. Um, they just, they do a lot of work especially they wouldn't if we weren't going to be getting more snow if, if it was just going to be like this we would just leave it because it, it has melted it may not seem it to, <laughs> to some um but it has melted a little bit we probably melted about six inches i would say but because we're getting more snow everybody's trying to get all the snow they can possibly out so that the new stuff you know there's somewhere to put it because there's nowhere to put it after a while um, but there, there's those diggies, high loaders, I don't know, whatever you call them. They're all over town. I saw them all day yesterday when I was driving around doing stuff. Um, so because they're still not quite sure what we're getting yet. Um, you know, it says some, some say eight to 12, <clears throat> some say 12 to 18. We just, we'll know when we get it. <clears throat> so some people have asked, like, where exactly do I live? Because I say I live in Erie, Pennsylvania. Nobody seems to know where that's at, which kind of boggles my mind because we are one of the Great Lakes. Lake Erie, <laughs> we are the city that goes with the Great Lake. So if you're looking at Pennsylvania on a map and it's kind of like rectangular, except there's a little niche up in the left-hand corner that jets out and then you see the, the lake. <laughs> we are that part that jets out. Um, that's where I'm at, at the very top up there. So we are 35 blocks up from the lake. Um, so yeah, that's where I live. And um, so I know, I know Sandy's gonna get hit with this storm. Um, we are, we're supposed to start off today raining. So around between noon and one o'clock, it's supposed to start raining. Depending on how this air comes in, we're supposed to get some cold air. Not that it's not cold already, but we're supposed to get some cold air coming in and it's gonna change it over to snow. Now, depending on how fast this cold air comes, if it doesn't come as fast as they're anticipating, then the rain's gonna last longer and we won't get as much snow. But if the air comes quicker, then we're gonna get a lot more snow and less rain. <laughs> We, I think they've been, they've been worried as, and I know around town, they've been getting ready for this ice too. Um, my brother's a, a city plow truck driver and he said, oh my gosh, he said, we are all loaded with salt and ready to go. He works third shift. So he'll, he'll be, you know, working tonight. So he said, we, we got all the trucks are all loaded with salt 
everything's checked over plows are good you know he said we did all the maintenance on them the past couple days and so that nobody breaks down and stuff and um, of course it'll still happen anyway <laughs> even though you do all that stuff you, you just never know but he said they've been busy doing that and and it mainly the salt because they're worried about ice we might we potentially could get ice so strangely my son came home from school yesterday and I picked him up he's like hey I'm supposed to tell you just an FYI if it um, if it gets bad Wednesday into Thursday we're gonna be remote he said it's not gonna be um, live instructions um, they're just supposed to log online and get their assignments and do assignments for the day at home. So I'm kind of hoping that happens because <laughs> I don't mind. I, it don't bother me driving in snow or anything like that. And I don't mind getting snow. It's not that. But if I could have a free pass, I'll take it. So, um, so it, and then he said and it'll count as a day of school that they won't have to make up, which is really nice but problem being the high school will not close they never close there's only one time I remember the high school closing and that was a couple years ago and they only closed because the whole city closed <laughs> um we had like I think it was a whole week worth of um really frigid temperatures and now we get cold air cold you know we get cold temperatures here but this was like like 20 below with a wind chill of like minus another 10. So it was like 30 below. And um, we, our city, our mayor pretty much shut everything down. Now my husband still had to go to work cause she still have college kids on campus, but classes were canceled, schools were canceled and they were, they were canceled for at least two days that week. Um, see our public school system, there is busing, but not only if you live like so many miles away from the school. So a lot of kids walk to school. So um, they, the, so the public schools are another one that never shuts down because parents have to work and what are they can do with their kids. But now, um, when that when that cold temperatures, the mayor's like, mm -mm, we do not want these children walking in this this cold air. Okay, this guy is moving, so I'm moving up, and then I can turn my blinkers off. Um, so, public schools were shut down. I mean, everything was shut down. He even, the mayor even, shut down the garbage pickup for two nights, which was nice at the time, because at the time, my brother was driving garbage truck, because he's got a CDL, so um, he kind of goes where they need, need him. So, in the winter, he's mainly plow. In the summer, he's on streets which could be anything could be you know driving the truck to uh you know around where the guys are on the back shoveling filling potholes and stuff like that i feel like we're really crooked here um so anyway so that and at that point i think the, i think the high school got so much pressure that they they did close um but i i think they only shut down the one day but the problem is there's a lot of kids that get bused to this high school and the, the girls' high school, which they're both aff affiliated. And so a lot of the bust kids didn't make it in and stuff. So, um, so anyway, so I, I'm, I'm really hoping we get that free pass tomorrow for school and, and that all, I ha all I'll have to do is run down and pick him up from here. So, um, but a lot of times the high school will say parents can use their discretion too. But my kid would never, he, he's not like that. He's like, no, I'm going. So it's kind of a bummer too. And it, and it never fails. Something like this, like a snow, usually a snowstorm. One time it was a water break at the school. But something like this always happens during Catholic Schools Week. We always get ripped off one day of Catholic Schools Week. As far as I can remember with my son going to school, we always end up having a snow day one year. I got called and they're like, you have to come pick your kid up because um, there's a water main break and the school has no water. <laughs> so, but when there's things like that, the school does not have to make up um, the day. So, um, so I remember I was way out on the west side of town. I'm like, what's well, gonna take me like 20 minutes to get there? And they're like, no hurry. And so I ran and got him. 
but it just seems like always during Catholic schools week, there's always something. So anyway, and, and tomorrow's the only day they have to wear their uniform. So I'm like, I said to my son, you might get away with not having to wear your uniform all week. When you go to Catholic school, that's a big deal not to have to wear your uniform. So um, the high school, they don't have to wear their uniform all week this week. So that's really nice. But tomorrow, yeah, is the only day. Um, so anyway, so I thought I'd bring you along, show you what we get with this weather, which it's a crapshoot. We we could get nothing. We could get a lot. It just depends. Um, and then I'll show you. I'm gonna make my Greek sauce today and do uh, do that. I'll show you. I'll show you my poor house. It's such a wreck right now. I have I have baskets and stuff everywhere, prize baskets and um, some stuff. I I just need to put ribbon around it, you know, at the top. So I'll show you my disaster going on at home. <laughs> and then Sunday I will work on just getting my house back together. And although it's not, I mean, it's clean. It, it's just once we get everything loaded Thursday night, it won't be so bad. Um, you know, then my house will be pretty much open for me. But, um, somebody had asked with this weather, will it affect your raffle? No. People in this city, <laughs> we're so used to this weather and this snow. Okay, so this kid took dress down to the extreme. He's wearing his jammy pants and Spider-Man slippers. <laughs> maybe it's, maybe it's pajama day. <laughs> Although, I don't recall them ever having a day like that. But, hey, you never know. Um... But anyway, so, um, I forgot what I was even talking about. <laughs> oh, people come at, yeah, they'll come. We've, we've had, it's, our raffle's always the first Saturday in, um, February. And we've, we've had it in a snowstorm before. One of our biggest crowds we ever had was in the middle of a snowstorm. <laughs> and we thought we were going to be dead. Nobody'd show up. Oh my goodness. They kept coming in and coming in. I remember when we left that night, there was like snow drifts in between cars and it was like, holy cow. We just got walloped and it didn't matter. People still come out. And right now people are so itching to be out and doing something, not only because of the whole pandemic, but it's winter and you just feel you're in, you're in a lot. You're in your house a lot and you're, you know, so any chance to get out is great, which also means that my phone's ringing off the hook for people that, oh, I need to get tickets because at the door, you can buy tickets at the door, but they're $2 more. So it, they're, it's a $10 ticket, um, but at the door it's 12, <laughs> but we'll still sell a ton at the door. Um, so I just had a lady call me yesterday. She wanted 20 tickets and, uh, we do take credit card and stuff like that. So, um, and then somebody just called me as I was leaving. They're like, are you home? Are you home? I'm like, no, I'm not. I have to go get my son. I won't be home till after 10. Oh, I want to stop and get four tickets. I'm like, well, I'll be home after 10 and I'll be home till 3.30. And so he's like, well, all right. I'll... He was dropping some stuff off too. He's got two more baskets for me. I am on overload of baskets. I only wanted 20. <laughs> I'm probably up to, oh gosh, at least 50, if not more. And then I have like, I think 30 some gift cards. So um, our door prize area always does so well. So um, yeah, <laughs> so I have a lot. So that's what I mean, my house, we're gonna bring tonight, we're gonna bring all the baskets I have upstairs down. And so I told my husband, next week I'll be able to fix your pants cause I have to hem two pairs of pants I got him. But I can't get to my sewing machine because I have all these baskets all everywhere upstairs. So I'm going to do that. So um, that is it for now. I had Monday had a fantastic day of eating. Still writing it down. Track everything. Yesterday I did good until I, my sisters and I started a, um, we start going to bingo every Tuesday. It's just at the Polish club. And um, so it's, and we just have a lot of fun just, you know, sitting there playing bingo and that. I didn't win anything last night. Last week I won, I won a bingo game. I think I won $65. Yesterday, I shouldn't say I didn't win anything. I, I bought some instant tickets or rip tickets and I got an instant $20 winner. So the $20 I spent on that, I got back. So, um, but, uh, 
we eat there. And of course, there's nothing good there. So I thought, well, I'm going to be good. I'm just going to get a cheeseburger, which is like not restaurant style cheeseburger. You know, it's just, it's just a patty fried up with a piece of cheese slapped on it on a bun. It's not like a big juicy good burger it is very good because they toast their buns I think that's my favorite part um, so I I had a burger and fries I, I'm very proud of myself I did not finish my fries normally I would finish everything and but you know what I was I felt full and I was like you know what I'm not gonna finish these because I feel full I don't need them I was just like mm-mm you know what in the trash they went and I didn't care I did ask my sister if she wanted any my one sister and then my brother-in-law plays with us too and neither of them wanted them I said okay in the trash they go and my sister was like I can't believe you're throwing out fries I said I'm full and I don't they don't really know I'm doing Weight Watchers I was like um so I said no I said I'm not I'm not going to eat them so I'm very proud of myself for that. So I probably had, I took 13 points for them, um, for the french fries. I can't remember how many points for the burger, but I took all the points. I still, I did good. I had all the, I, cause my, I had an eight point breakfast and a five point lunch. So I had enough points to have that for dinner. Um, and that was it. I didn't have anything else. Normally, um, someone would get like, chips or something and uh but no I, I was like no I'm good I'm full I'm done I played bingo enjoyed it what we put I sat so I could face a tv that had the pens game on <laughs> so uh so now I got the moms texting because one mom can't drive on Friday I'm already covering for somebody on Friday now till after tax season so every Friday now I have three extra boys even though I have three extra Monday Tuesday Wednesday as well but now Friday I'm getting three so my poor son and I have no time to chat we like to talk between schools and stuff and now we have no time because it's just the one has to dominate everything and I'm like oh my gosh I I just I pray every time I pick them up and get them to school that I don't lose my mind, <laughs> bro. Because <laughs> that's all he knows how to say. Um, now, normally I would say I'll pick them up in our, I could pick them all up in our bus and <laughs> take them up there, but our bus is going to be jam packed because we're going to be heading up to unload. <clears throat> so I can't help them out and take more and bring my bus down here, but oh well. So I'll be back, I'll show you me making some Greek sauce and I'll show you some more of the baskets I have and getting done because I got so many more to do. So have a great Wednesday and I'll see you soon. Okay, I thought I would share with you all my stuff. Um, this is my dining room. <laughs> Has been overtaken with baskets. Um, and somebody gave us a skateboard. Um, I have stuff over here. This is just my, I have my supplies in there. But here's all my baskets in the back there. There's bottles of wine with gift certificates and um, baskets here. I have baskets on top of all our pop and stuff. Um, <laughs> I have them in every little nick and cranny here. Nook and cranny. On the floor there, on the chairs. Um, this is just some of them. The rest are upstairs. So when I have time and can go up there, I will go up and show you. Right now I want to, I'm going to try to sweep my floor because the little, I don't know if I have any on the table, little cellophane papers from that. When I cut them, um, get all over and my dog likes to try to eat them. So I will show you my, so I, I gated him off. <laughs> So he couldn't come in here. But here's my Greek sauce. It's coming along really well. Um, so look, it's, my house smells really good. This will cook down for, um, well, another two hours. And then I'll probably cook it down for another two or three hours tonight. So I have two big pans of it. Look at all that grease. Ugh. I will not... 
I don't usually partake in this because it's too, it's too spicy for me. But you know, men and some women at the raffle love it. So they can eat it. <laughs> but here it is. I try to get some of the lumps out. And then I try to be real careful not to make a mess of my kitchen. But there's my Greek sauce. When it's done, I will tub it up into smaller tubs with lids and get it in the refrigerator for Saturday. And a weather update. I don't know if you can see on my window there. We have rain. So right on time with the rain. It started a little before 1. They said between 12 and 1. So we have rain. We'll see what this leads to next. Okay. Good morning. <laughs> so it is, it's Thursday. So I'll give you our big storm landing update. Um, epic fail overnight. We got, we're probably about three inches now. Um, it started to snow around midnight. But it must not have been very heavy, which it wasn't this morning either. When we got up, I'm out of breath because I just uh, I had to load my car. And, uh, so I, I, I had, my son's bags are so heavy. So I just had to load it. And I have a mammoth headache this morning. Um, but that's weather related because I, when it goes from 40 degrees to 20 overnight and stuff, I tend to get like real bad sinus headaches. So that's where I'm at right now. I didn't take anything yet for it. I just had breakfast. I had a huge bowl of fruit and um, my breakfast sandwich. Um, and my breakfast sandwich was just egg, cheese, and my English muffin. I don't have any bacon done and I was gonna do some up yesterday and I thought no I, I didn't want to do it yesterday uh, I like <laughs> you probably think I'm weird but I like to start things off fresh so I didn't want to make it yesterday and then knowing like um, tomorrow morning my husband and I are going out to breakfast my seatbelt's all twisted oh goody we have people blowing the snow into the street because that works I don't know what is wrong with people. They're so ignorant here. Um, it's actually, you're not allowed to do that. You you can, uh, people have gotten in, gotten, have gotten fined for doing that. Um, but anyway, back to what I was telling you. I had a big bowl of fruit and my breakfast sandwich. I think my breakfast sandwich is five this morning. Three for the muffin, two for the cheese, and then zero for the egg. And then my fruit is zero. Um, my husband's taking me out to breakfast tomorrow and um, I'm not sure where we're going. It's going to depend on weather and everything. So, oh, here comes some city plows. I hate when people don't let the plows through. It's like, come on, let them go. Come on, go. Um, so, we're, so we're doing that. So I won't have breakfast tomorrow. Saturday, I don't know if I'll have breakfast or not. I mean, I will. I just, um, sometimes on the weekends, I either will have breakfast or not, or I fix something different, like toast and eggs or something. So I might have something different. So I just didn't want to cook bacon and then have it sitting in the fridge for a few days without getting used. Not that that's wrong. It's just, I don't know. It's just me. It's just a OCD thing, I think. So, um, so that I, that's my breakfast this morning. It was very good. My dog, <laughs> he loves blueberries. I cannot feed him enough. I don't feed him that many, but he he's just like he eats it. And I'm ready for another one. So I only had one blueberry this morning. I let him have the others. I still have some blueberries left. I still have a little bit of fruit of all my fruit left. So I probably have one more breakfast with it and. So I am going Saturday because I ordered those sandwich tray subs uh, from Wegman. So when I go to pick those up, I will get some more fruit then. I'm still good on my vegetables. So, so that is that. Yesterday was a really good day of eating. 
had my breakfast sandwich um, and some fruit and then I had I didn't have my salad for lunch though um, I made homemade mac and cheese the night before and that's what the boys ate and I told my husband save me a you know like a cup a cup of it so he did I think it's eight points because I put everything in the tracker yeah it was eight points for a cup and it was so good so I had that for lunch I didn't put any butter in it or nothing like that um, just cheese 2% milk to make my cheese sauce and I use all kinds of different cheese I use pepper jack I use Colby sharp and I had a little bit of Munster so I used that it was delicious very tasty so I had a cup of that for eight points that was all I had for lunch and then last night I cooked up just a small steak I had a three ounce piece actually 2.8 because I weighed it and um, a baked potato a small one and um, beets so I had a really good dinner and that's all I had for dinner and that's all I had the rest of the night because um, I've been busy trying to get stuff done so um, so I, I, I had like nine points left over for the day so I thought that was good so I think I'm doing really well eating while I was drinking my water and I didn't bring it today I probably should have but I didn't so I'm just running to the bank first to get my I ordered change for the weekend so I'm gonna go pick that up and it's just a block away from the high school so I'm gonna pick that up and then jump over to the school the boys get out at 9 27 today is uh, it is a.m. activity schedule so so they get out early so I'm only supposed to be taking my son and I didn't want to get involved in this pickup and stuff you know in the uh, whatever you call it everybody driving you know this one drives this day that one drives that day I'm like no um I said no I'm responsible for my son I will take and pick up my son I did that for many reasons a lot I don't know these people um, and as it is some of them are like my my brother's gonna go get him my sister's getting him my my husband's sister's coming to pick and I'm like you know I don't want my kid riding with people he doesn't know and I don't know these people in today's world you just have to be so cautious and so I'm like no I will choose to take and pick up my own son so that's what we've been doing however it has come to now. I have kids almost every day of the week in my car. <laughs> and um, so the one mom, the kid's sick, so she can't drive today. So I'm, I'm taking kids today. And then I ta I'm taking kids tomorrow. And the one kid had the nerve to ask my son at school why he says, how come your mom don't buy us treats like all the other moms do? And I'm like, anybody ask you that again you make a very big point of saying they shouldn't even be in my car I'm doing them a favor I don't need to buy them treats these moms bring donuts the one morning the one they have breakfast sandwiches from McDonald's all the time in the car the one morning the mom went to Starbucks to get them all Starbucks and she was panicking because the line was so long because a lot of our lobbies aren't open um, so you can't you just have to go in the drive-thru and she was like, oh my gosh, I was panicking so bad I didn't think I was gonna get um, The drinks on time and get to school to pick them up on time And I was like why are, why are we buying these expensive drinks for these kids? They have not even ten minutes about ten minutes to go from one school to the other so it's like And the, and the day she did that I was behind her in the parking lot and she's grabbing all these drinks out most of them almost all of them were half full if not more and she's like oh I got all these kids these drinks because they're not allowed to take them in school so and she's like I don't, I don't want them to spill now so she was putting them in a drink holder up front and she had like six drinks that were half or more full and I was like and that's when she told me I didn't think I was gonna make it. I'm like I said oh well you're very nice because I said I don't have the money to buy those drinks for those kids. I will tell you one day we had a lot of time to kill like we will tomorrow. They get out at 9.10 but they can't be in the grade school till 9.55. So I had two boys with me. So I said, I'll go through Tim Hortons. I'll get them some Timbits just to kill time and a, and a pop, you know, like a small pop. 
so my son's like yep just give me a small sprite and we just got a, a little mixed pack of um timbits and so i said to the boys what kind of pop do you want well we need to see the menu i'm like well they have sprite um pepsi whatever whatever it was they had well we want to see the menu didn't those boys order a seven dollar drink each and i was like okay i am not doing this again so i learned my lesson on that one so my bill was like almost 20 bucks that morning and i thought i got nothing and i was like are you kidding me and i thought nope if that's how spoiled rotten these kids are that they have to have these and they didn't finish them and but i i said you're not leaving it in my car though i said you have to take it in and throw it away in school i said um i don't want that in my car and i said to my son i'm sorry but i'm not doing that again he's like no you kept telling him what kind of pop do you want what kind of pop and he's like i can't believe they ordered those drinks and then they like i said they it was an oreo an oreo something drink and i was like oh my gosh and of course then it took longer because it was like a like took longer to make those and so then by the time we got everything i had to take them like right to school we didn't even have time to just sit and enjoy it you know what i mean so i was like I will never do that again, but I can't believe that kid said to my son, how come your mom don't buy us treats? Well, because you're not to be in my car. I'm doing you a favor. But see, these kids don't think of that and they don't, I don't know. My, my son is so different in that regard. He would never ask. He would be so grateful for whatever, you know? So, I don't know. So I was really annoyed. And I have half a mind to say to these boys when they get in my car, don't ever expect anything from me. Because when I did take you one time, I said, you can get a pop and you didn't. So you kind of blew it then. But so anyway, I don't know how I got onto that subject. So anyway, epic fail with our storm. Three inches, although it's, it's still coming down right now. I'm sure you can probably see out my windows and stuff. Um, they say... They're, they, on the new, of course, all the meteorologists <laughs> this morning were like, wait, don't panic or whatever. It's coming. They're like, it, it's just behind. Um, they say between 10 and noon, we're supposed to get heavy snow. And then, so we're supposed to get three, three to, three to five between 10 and two with 10 to noon being the heaviest. And then this afternoon, we're supposed to get three to seven. And then tonight, overnight, we're supposed to get another three to seven. So they're like, it's coming, it's coming. Because everybody woke up and they're like, well, where's all the snow? Where's the storm at? And so <laughs> I was watching Sandy's video and she was showing and I'm like, yep, <laughs> that's exactly how it is here. So is it a lot of hype? Probably because... I don't know, but I'll keep you posted and let you know what we get. So I'm at the bank. They're going to open in one minute. I'm going to go and get my uh, change. I brought my little, my baggie for that, my New Balance bag. I love this bag. It's so durable and I don't know, I just like it. So I brought that. I'll take my purse in. I had to get, I, 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 my son has a book bag for the high school that he has his iPad and all his stuff in. Then he's got a book bag for the grade school that he's got all his books and notebooks and folders. And then he's got his Chromebook. So then he's got a lunchbox and he's like, I'm never going to fit all this in my locker at prep. So he's like, um, can you bring the grade school stuff in my lunch? And I'm like, yeah, so that's how we kind of did it for them. Cause these kids, they have to haul all their, everything they need for the whole, the whole day, they have to haul it to one school and then haul it to another. And so this way it's easier for him. Um, and then he'll leave his prep book bag in and I'll take it in the house when I get home. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what we do um, just to make it easier for him. Cause it's, it's a lot of, it's a lot of stuff. <clears throat> So, <clears throat> goodness. So I'm going to mask up. I do have my hat in the car, but um, 
I, my hair looked kind of nice this morning and I'm like, oh, I hate to put a hat on it. So, oh well. I'm gonna go in and go get my money and then go get the boys and go home and see if we get all this snow later today. So I'll keep you posted. <laughs> so have a good Thursday. I'll try to give you some idea of how much snow we've gotten. You can, I don't know if you can see, but ooh, it's really coming down now. <laughs> um, like the bird feeder, there's about two to three inches on that. It was totally, uh, there was nothing on it yesterday. So, um, but like my door opening up to the outside, you can see how high it's getting. Um, so we're getting, it's coming now. Like they said, it would between 10 and 12, we we're gonna get hit pretty good and we are. So let me get this Barker in. Okay, it is 2.30, I'm leaving the house to go get my son. I think I'm gonna take the main roads because it's bad out. Um, we're probably up to at least six inches of snow. Ollie, 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 hey. And it's blowing, so it looks like a blizzard out. Um, I don't know if you can tell my windows, is, you can see how white it is. Ollie. Oh my Oliver, hey, hey, hey. So, he'll calm down in a second here. Um, a lot of the school districts, well, there's quite a few school districts closed today. They closed like last night. Um, and then now there's quite a few that let their kids out at 1.30 today because it's bad right now. But of course ours never does that. <laughs> so, uh, so just, I'm going to take the, I don't usually take the main roads up to the school because it's always so crowded and I have to go through a couple of school zones and stuff. But um, when it's bad like this, I do because the side roads are so terrible because um, of course nothing is plowed. Uh, even these main roads don't look very plowed, but um, you can't really see like about 20 feet in front of you. It's it's totally white so good times here so we are finally getting this snow like they said at like noon time or something the one meteorologist came on or I don't know I saw it on Facebook he's like I'm not lying please believe me when I tell you we are gonna get a foot of snow between now and tomorrow morning so uh, he said expect it to be bad this late this afternoon into late evening so he's not lying <laughs> So, but it's, it's really not, I don't know, it's fine. It's not like that bad. We're, we're used to this. It's not like, you know, we're just not used to having a storm named. Oh gosh, see traffic is so backed up here. Um, we don't usually have named storms. We just get snow, but we're part of something this time. <laughs> so that's my little update for now. My dog, of course, loved it went out jumping around in the uh in the driveway in the snow because he had to jump because it's it's you know pretty uh pretty <coughs> tall for him but he did manage to go potty so that was good so he thinks he needs to bark at everything so have a good one and i'll update you later today i don't know if you can see all the snow coming down i'm outside my son's school but it, it's just we're getting blasted now. It's really bad. Okay, here we are. Um, I am shoveling a path for my dog because it is deep and it's very windy. So I don't know if you can see all the snow coming down, but it's really coming. It is at least quarter to five. Afternoon. Okay, in this part of the video, I was trying to show you that the orange stake is where it was just snow blowed the other day. That's how much it is blowing, drifting, and how much snow we've gotten um, where my son is, you know, snow blowing up the driveway there. He's got to take it all the way to the orange stick on the left. Um, and then I'm showing you across the street. My neighbors have this humongous icicle that goes from their roof to the ground, and it's really thick. 
so I had to do a voiceover because the snow blower was way too loud. So that is all. <laughs> I just want to show you how full of snow, although some of I've got some of it off. How full of snow I am <laughs> this room shoveling. Oh my gosh, and it's so cold. If you can't tell by my face. So my son is I think he's done. And I'm waiting for my husband to call me because my car is coming out of the garage tonight. Our bus is coming in the driveway so we can load and then my car goes on the other end so we can take my son to school tomorrow. Unless it's canceled, that would be so nice. So I'll show you our bus when my husband comes home and then I'll probably end this two day video, vlog, whatever you want to call it, and get it uploaded so I can start over again tomorrow and show you all the craziness. <laughs> I'll be back.